my second video of the day. Uh, this time it's uh, not the organ, uh, not the real organ, but an electronic organ which um, is based on a, um, a recording of each pipe of an organ, not just one single sample and then spread over the whole compass of the organ, but each pipe of the organ is uh, it's recorded and which gives a much more organ-like sound and this uh, software is uh, called Grand Org uh, which is uh, um, to be compared with Hauptwerk which is uh, much better known and probably gives a much better service but yet uh, you, don't, you don't get out and out as we say up in the north of England you don't get anything for nothing, uh, but this is so. Uh, this is what you can get for nothing. It's free. It can be downloaded from the internet entirely legally, uh, together with uh, various sample sets of different organs. And this is this is the one I usually like to use. It has rather nice um, open diapason. <laughs> except by coupling it to the grate uh, just to give you an idea of full organ which is a bit uh, bombastic huh? because now the speakers are distorting so it's not a it's not a very good the thing there, that's just with the reed but without the uh, without the sub octave coupler. There's a pulled a sixteen foot bone on the grade. It's a very round kind of uh, instrument. Uh, so, given all that, I'm going to play a little Prelude and Fugue from Bach, the uh, Prelude and Fugue 15 from Volume 2 of uh, Das Hohe Tempier der Klavier, the, the, uh, the Well Tempered Keyboard. And uh, so I'm going to uh, number 15 in G major. <laughs>
what else uh, uh, there is available on this um, on this in, uh, on this um, I've got uh, an organ in Denmark which is rather nice here it is um, very chippy um, It's gone all quiet again. I'll uh, just have uh, uh, it a bit louder. That's a bit distorted. I'll try 10 minus 10. Celeste goes with the solution all. Except in the ears, of course, when the when the when the uh, sound is particularly um, high. Um, I'm going to see what else I've got. I've got um, a very interesting 16th century organ in the t in the village uh, of Moray sur Rouen, uh, to the southeast of Paris. Um, very uh, near where Ravel lived. Uh, for the last years of his life and it's uh, a 16th century organ which was on a choir screen and of course uh, the choir screen was uh, uh, demolished shortly after the Council of Trent but the organ was kept on a special gallery at the side of the church and uh, um, the, uh, it was restored um, a number of years ago. Oh, that's the demonstration. Uh, I prefer to give my own demonstration. I'll start with the uh, the montre, the open diapason. It's quite round. Um, this is essentially a Renaissance organ with a lot of restoration work. Just with a two foot. It's quite bright. It's quite bright. Uh, with a furniture and uh, with uh, with a few uh, uh, mutations. And there's a symbol, which makes it really very very bright. Take off the flues 
and I will. Uh, uh, well, it's a symbol that's the trumpet bass. It's quite unusual for a French reed. Humana, which I'll which I'll play with the tremulant, uh, tremulant. is a front without being any success. Um, let's see what else I've got. Um, I have a very nice, uh, I have a nice little uh, French harpsichord here. I'll play another little piece of um, um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll take that down to 10. Uh, and uh, both both eight foot stops. Um, uh, it doesn't go at all well with the reverberation. I need to I need to take the reverberation off. Um, disactivate, and I'll, um, I'll keep the volume down a bit. This is without reverberation. Trouble is, playing an imitation of a harpsichord on, a, on an electronic keyboard, it's hardly uh, what I was used to when I was at London College of Furniture, uh, because with a real harpsichord it's an extremely sensitive instrument. Uh, you, can, you can feel, the, uh, you, you can feel the, the jack on the, end of the, on the end of the key, and then there's resistance, and all of a sudden, boom, the, uh, the jack plucks the string. But here, there's no, there's no plucking point, uh, which is, uh, which is the disadvantage of this, of this, uh, of this fake instrument. But uh, it does have its. Uh, oh, this is very, very amusing. This is a, a carillon in um, of bells in Gant in Belgium. Coming to you from the Imperial Home Service. Uh, but of course, in um, in uh, in Belgium, uh, the uh, the Calvino is very much more um, complex than the than the English chimes of Westminster.
that's the kind of sound you would hear in the in the in the in the, in the center of a Belgian town, uh, or something like midday, when somebody would go up the tower, and uh, and thump down on the on the on the bars, uh, to to uh, to ring the bells. I've actually had um, uh, the privilege once of uh, of playing such uh, such a an instrument. It's very very impressive to play. Um, and uh, let's see if we can find you another. Oh dear, just a minute. Uh, uh, no, I think I'll go for the ones that have been recently opened. It's much. Uh, oh, there's a there's a Clico organ here. Um, he was an 18th century French uh, organ builder. Um, oh dear. Oh, it's uh, it's coming. It takes a. Uh, takes a while to load onto the computer. Uh, here we are. Uh, unfortunately it's a three manual but I can only play on one manual because I've only got one manual. So um, here's the eight and the four. Oh it's a bit quiet. Oh and I need reverberation. So uh, let's, uh, let's get the reverberation back. Um, and then I will, yes, I'll go on to minus 10, and, um, right, so, uh, I'll start with the Borden. It's a bit woolly. I'm not sure that, um, Clico was terribly good at voicing wooden pipes. This is the uh, the eight foot uh, open diapason, the montre as it's called in French. Rather soft and gooey. Um, and with a four foot. She's not bad. And then I'll uh, I'll just add uh, add some uh, add the mixture and. Uh, and then with the trumpet and the clarion. It's a little bit more fiery, the fiery French reed. Um, you would play uh, Nicolas de Grigny or Couperin above all on such an organ. Um, and also the uh, the temperament wouldn't be equal. It would either be a mesotonic temperament with a with a horrible comma uh, when played in certain keys, um, or uh, it would, uh, or one of the later baroque uh, temperaments before equal temperament came in into uh, being. Um, Probably if I, I can think I can find you a nice little oh yes here's a nice little cafe call so uh, to find to have a, a romantic organ I uh, just have to wait for it to uh, come through here we are uh, uh, usual um, I'll start with the eight foot um, stopped. Quite shifty, quite surprising for 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 uh, for Cavaicol. Uh, the solutional. Quite stringy, quite uh, uh, quite thin. Uh, this is only a, a it's a choir organ in a big church in France. Well, to 
upgrade coupler on, which is usually by foot pedal. And then uh, and then uh, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, I'm going to to bring on the 16 foot board and the reeds. just les fonds which would be the eight foot stops uh, and with the uh, the basson haut de bois uh, yes there it is wait a minute I've got the um, I've got the uh, oh yes there we are it's uh, still got some upper work on uh, that's without the upper work <laughs> Superman, but it's uh, rather, I find it rather disappointing as the, uh, just takes a little, uh, just uh, about a minute to, to load onto the computer and uh, I will uh, give it a little bit more loudness because otherwise you can hardly hear it. Uh, so uh, this is the um, this is the Silberman from from Germany. Um, I, uh, yes, the uh, Boudon wheat. Uh, the, oh yeah, yes. Um, that's on the that's on the that's on the swell. All the positive. The, the, uh, the wind pressure uh, uh, on the original organ that this is imitating um, is quite unstable. <laughs> Um, that's the symbol of the furniture. And of course, uh, such an organ would be designed for playing Bach. Um, let's see if I can. Oh, yes, I think that would be just to, just to give you a little sample. Uh, furniture uh, symbol, Borden. Uh, Okay. Disappointing. 
Um, I don't think all these uh, recordings were done particularly well. Uh, obviously, it takes a it takes the abilities of a sound engineer to do to do this. Um, let's see what else I've got. Uh, uh, there's a little, a little uh, one manual positive uh, of modern make, um, which uh, which is quite which is quite pleasant. Oh dear. Ah, there we are. It says it's going to take four hours, but now it's going to take eight minutes, because actually it'll take about half a minute to uh, to load. Oh, it's getting a bit slow. Uh, well that's, uh, Something's happening with the computer. Oh yes, here we are. Uh, it has a... It's quite a nice... Quite a, quite a nice brockish... Uh, sound but then uh, uh, with a four foot flute, quint, doublet uh, and a little reed here so uh, that's the uh, the capacities of Grand Orc, uh, there are other organs, there are other instruments uh, um, that one can find on the internet and, and, uh, and uh, download. There are others that you can buy. Um, as I say, you don't get out for now. Uh, like uh, um, Hauptwerk is, uh, is, uh, gives a lot more scope, uh, but it needs uh, a lot more expenditure, and also needs more than just this uh, just this little uh, cheap electronic keyboard. Um, you can buy or make a complete console, and then you can do more things with it. Yeah.